Hi, I'm Michelle Brain and I am the Midwife Hypnotist. And in 30 years of nursing, I've learned so many different things in so many different areas. I've worked in drug and alcohol, I've worked in midwifery, I've worked in paediatrics, I've worked on telehealth, and I've worked in remote area nursing in Aboriginal communities all across Australia. And I feel blessed that wherever I've been, I've learnt so much. And I remember when I worked with in the Drug and Alcohol Centre, I ended up leaving there because I just didn't feel like we were doing the right thing by our clients. We were telling them that they were alcoholics and they could never drink for the rest of their lives. And I somehow just didn't think that was right. You know, a 17 year old guy coming in who, yeah, sure, he'd been on the grog, but to tell him that he could never drink for the rest of his life, we were hypnotizing them. We were telling them and convincing them that they are alcoholics, they could never drink ever again. So it's funny the things that you pick up along the way. You see, in, in especially in small communities, so many people taking antidepressants. You know, I remember asking a woman once, so why are you taking antidepressants? You know, what's what's been going on? And she said, oh, my, my brother died. And I said to her, I'm so sorry. When did that happen? And she said to me, 28 years ago. And she was still taking antidepressants. So, you know, when we think of life and we think of, of seasons, the seasons, you know, spring, uh, autumn, winter, I like to think that I'm spring because you can see the new foliage growing, the colours, the bees, the sun, the sun shining and new growth continually growing. But yet so many people, so many people are so medicated, whether it be from, from drugs, from alcohol, from um, prescription medication. They're stuck because of whatever's happened in their life, they've chosen to stay there. They've chosen to be in winter, to be dormant, to stay in that place. Because that's what the alcohol and the drugs do. It just masks that, that feeling. So my daughter died 28 years ago, but I chose not to take the drugs. I chose not to do the medication. I chose to live it. I chose to live that experience. Whether it be sad or happy, it's growth, it's learning. So we all have that choice. You can live in spring, you can live in autumn, and gradually the leaves continue to fall until you have no new foliage. It really is your choice. And hypnotherapy can help you change. It can help you make those choices. It can help you to live in the moment. It can help you to understand that no matter what it is, there's a positive. There's always a positive. You just have to look for it. So What's your life? Are you living in spring? Are you in autumn? Or are you stuck in winter? So think about it. And if you'd like to change your mindset, if you'd like to go back and relive and reinvent yourself because of a memory that's held you back for so long, then try hypnotherapy. The difference in living your life, living every day to, to its fullest. And I'd like to think that that's the mindset that I have. I like to think that that's the mindset that I've given my children because what they see is what they grow. So think about your mindset and your children, your grandchildren. And if you'd like help to change your mindset, if you want to be in spring, then check out my website, michellebrain.com.